photo, Niles S. Oney silent film museum Charlie Chaplin in The Tramp, 1915, shot in Niles and Sinole. Charlie Chaplin in The Tramp, 1915, shot in Niles and Sinole. Photo, Niles S. Oney silent film museum real local news, Charlie Chaplin days explores icons Bay Area roots silent screen icon Charlie Chaplin's career in Bay Area roots are explored during the Niles S. Oney silent film museum's Charlie Chaplin days, July 13 to 15. Film screenings will include shorts shot in Niles in San Francisco. Film historians Mark Wanamaker and John Bangston lecture on Chaplin locations in Hollywood. There also will be walking tours in San Francisco and Niles of silent film locations, as well as a train ride through Niles Canyon. Among other Charlie Chaplin Days events are Boston University professor John Falwell's presentation on Chaplin's career as a director, show http colon slash slash nilesfilmmuseum.org DJ Spooky Headlines SF Film Screening Musician, Artist and Writer Paul D. Miller, a.k.a. DJ Spooky, introduces Oscar Micheaux's 1925 silent classic Body and Soul, and will talk with director Michael Schultz after the screening of Schultz's 1985 comedy, Crush Groove, as part of the July 12-29 SF film, SFMOMA Modern Cinema Film Series, Black Powers, Reframing Hollywood. Other guests expected to attend are Bay Area filmmaker Cheryl Dunya, who will introduce her 1996 narrative feature debut, The Watermelon Woman, Just Another Girl on the IRT, writer-director Leslie Harris, Love Jones, director Theodore Witcher, The Waiting Room, filmmaker Peter Nix, on hand to present Ryan Coogler's Fruitvale Station, and film curator and California Newsreel co-director Cornelius Moore, who will introduce Gina prince Woods, Love and Basketball, Modern Cinema, Black Powers, Reframing Hollywood, July 12 to 29, Phyllis Wattis Theater, SFMOMA, 151 Third Street, SF, $12, $5 until July 11th for SFMOMA and SF Film with promo code members. www.sfmoma.org BAMPFA celebrates Aki Kauri Smaki A6 Film Retrospective. of Finnish director Aki Kauri Smaki's work kicks off at BAMPFA on Friday, July 6th with a screening of The Other Side of Hope. The film is the pick of the BAMPFA Student Committee, a group of students who promote the engagement of their peers with BAMPFA. Among the other titles in the retrospective are early films The Match Factory Girl, 1990, and La Vie de Bohème, 1992, as well as Kauri Smaki's 2002 Best Foreign Language Oscar nominee, The Man Without a Past. All films screen in 35mm. Aki Kauri Smaki, Films from the Other Side of Hope, Friday, July 6 to August 5, BAMPFA, 2155 Center Street, Berkeley, $5 to $13. HTTPS colon slash slash bamfa.org San Francisco State University Cinema Professor and Film Historian Joseph McBride signs copies of his new book, How Did Lubitsch Do It?, and introduces a screening of Ernst Lubitsch's 1932 pre-code comedy, Trouble in Paradise, 4.15 p.m. Sunday, July 1st, Smith Raphael Film Center, San Rafael, HTTPS colon slash slash raphaelfilm.cafilm.org. John Huston's San Francisco set 1941 noir classic The Maltese Falcon will be shown at San Francisco's Foreign Cinema Restaurant July 9th, August. 5. HTTP colon slash slash foreigncinema.com Actress Amber Tamblin reads from and discusses Any Man, her new novel exposing society's complicity in rape culture, 7.30 p.m. Friday, July 6, The Bindery, 1727 Hate Street, SF www.booksmith.com The Bay Area Video Coalition's Video for Social Media is a two-day class that focuses on creating content, with sections on pre-production, interviewing, editing and more. 10 a.m. minus 6 p.m. Friday to Saturday, July 6 to 7, BAVC, 2727 Mariposa Street, Green Lab, SF, $545, Members, $625, HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, BAVC.org, Pam Grady is a Bay Area freelance writer.